Hey everybody, today is a great day. I'm doing a photo shoot for this resort. Well, I'm doing it for a retreat actually. It's called Soul Sisters Travel. And today after the shoot, I will be doing a little talk on juices. So here is oh, right. Soul Sisters Perhaps, Travels. Right. <laughs> I, I never can find it either. And I'll leave a link below okay. for these lovely oh, ladies. Hi. <laughs> and look what we I have, have back here. Oh we have snacks and of course I have prepared all this beautiful watermelon juice. Mmm. So hello everyone, my name is Kat, um, so I should start now? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if you had a chance to grab a watermelon juice, please feel free to take one with you if you can't finish it now, and they're in the cooler, I prepped uh, fresh juices, um, because the topic I'm talking about is related to juicing. So uh, about a year, or let's say, it was last August, I did a solid food vacation. So it was also known as juice fast or juice juicing. So what that means is I took a vacation from solid food. Juicing is still food. You're still getting your caloric needs. You're still getting lots of energy, but you're not eating solid food. So what this means is you're giving your digestive system a break from digesting all this you know, massive amounts of food. So what that does is it allows the ionic pressure in your, in your colon to change. So it become, instead of being overblown like a balloon, it becomes emptier, and it becomes like a vacuum for toxins in your body. So it's starting to pull you know, everything out. Your liver starts to digest. You're giving your body a break from digesting, which is the most taxing on our, on our system. So when you do that, your, your body starts to clean house. You start to hydrate all this impacted old fecal matter, the mucus that is built around it to protect yourself, to protect your body from all this acid that the food produces, um, which a lot of people know that it, most cancer patients are sick. So if you alkalize your body, the cancer cannot survive in this environment. And this takes years, you know, years of rebuilding and repairing, you know, it took, took you years to get there. So you can't just do a juice fast for three days and be healed. You know, my juice fast, my solid food vacation was 49 days. Wow. <laughs> my first attempt. So, which surprised me, I was just, my goal was one day. You know, okay, and then two days. Oh, okay, three days. So by taking it one day at a time, I got to 49 days all by myself. And it really helped that I was um, by myself. My boyfriend travels for work. So he, was, he drives a truck. So I got to be by myself so I don't have to snap on anyone, you know, I got to really like pay attention to my body and all the cleansing reactions going on. And it's not a walk in the park. I had a bunch of breakouts on my shoulders. I had acne coming out. And you would think, why would you do that? But you were fine before and now you have all these symptoms. And you know, that's causing those symptoms. No, these, these symptoms come out because you're, you're finally getting out of your body's way and your, your body's like finally purging these things out. And you get these elimination symptoms when your organs of, an el of elimination are not functioning correctly. So you have your kidneys, um, your colon is backed up. So your body finds other fontanelles of elimination, your ears, your eyes, the mucus comes out, and it gets better. And um, you know, the first few days, it seemed like I was just near the bathroom. <laughs> you have, I had, um, don't mind the language, explosive diarrhea. <laughs> but then it, it, you know, leveled out. And believe it or not, on day 49, I still had solid bowel movements. Wow. Please explain where that comes from. Like, by one week, you should have a light bulb go off in your head. Like, where is this coming from? If I'm not eating solid food, what is, how impacted, how old is that? How old is that? It's just like, ugh. <laughs> like, it makes me nauseous. Like, and and the, the quality changes as you go. It gets like more putrid and foul. So you're, you gotta think, like, that's inside of me. And when you think about your organs, you know, organized, <laughs> you've got your colon running up here. It's, they're not like a bunch of 
bunch of space for your organs to just like stretch or anything. Your organ, your colon, excuse me, is like two inches below your heart. It's crushing your ovaries. It's like, you know, touching everything. So if your colon is backed up, what does that do to your other organs? You know, it's leaking all this backed up stuff. And it's just like, I don't know, it just grosses me out. So um, a juice fast is a great tool. It's not something you do permanently. You don't have to constantly juice fast. It's something you can do periodically. You know, it can be seven days. It can be 60 days if you want to do an extended fast. Um, you just want to make sure you study up. And I can give you, if you're interested, I'll give you some links to help me, to help you learn that helped me. Um, because you want to make sure you're doing it correctly so you don't hurt yourself. The refeeding process is more important than the juicing part. Um, I'm sorry, you said refeeding? Refeeding. So after you're done with your solid food vacation, you start eating solid food again. It's important what you eat, how you eat, and how fast you introduce those things. So it's just, it's just good to know. Depends on your fast. Right, so for you, for 49 days, you cleanse, and then mm -hmm. how long is your reintroduction? So for every day, oh, there was a mathematical equation that I can't think of right now, but for every day that you juice fast, excuse me, for every, oh my god, I can't think of it. That's okay. But it was no more than seven days. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven to nine days, the longest juice fast, you can break it at seven to ten days. Mm -hmm. So no matter how long you go. Um, how did you feel about the intake? Oh, great. You know, I felt like the juicing, I, I like myself the most when I'm juicing. Mm -hmm. Like, I was, I changed my mindset, it changed the way I communicate, it changed the way I felt, the way I thought, um, the way I looked. You know, I was like shocked. I was finally able to see my dark circles fading, um, wrinkles went away. Um, I got the flat tummy I've always wanted. I mean, I've always had a pretty good figure, but I was like bloated and just like uncomfortable. You know, you look like you're three months pregnant. So um, <laughs> that really was nice. And you had you talked about clarity too. Like yes. you said, it was like oh, yes, it just opened your yes. whole mind. Like you had, you know, instead of being in a fog, like so we were all talking <laughs> about. It. Like, yeah, yeah. Is that eight? Is that what, yeah. you know, what is we it need? Is it Yes! Can we totally help reduce hot flashes, of course? Mm -hmm. You know, just being hydrated is half of our right. problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It is. We solve so many agree. problems here. Yeah. By cooking our food, we're destroying the enzymes and nutrients and things like that. So by juicing, you're 100% raw, and that eliminates that problem. So you're getting enzymes, you're getting biophotons, which is coherent sunlight energy. And what these biophotons do is they help your cells communicate faster. It, it's sunlight energy. So, you know, you get it through juicing, you, you're introducing all these nutrients, all these enzymes, you're just dissolving all that old stuff. And of course you're going to feel better because it's not making you irritable. It's not making you, you know, feel congested. Um, so, yeah, you feel like you have a detox on so many levels. I call it a forced awakening. Because no matter what you what you do, you just you start awakening to other things. Like you, you wouldn't expect to have like childhood memories come up when when you're juice fasting. I was just laying in my hammock and I was just relaxing, and I had this old memory come up. I'm like, what? That's so weird. And I was able to shift my perspective on it, and I felt that I was just so much lighter once I like understood it in a in an adult perspective. And I'm like, I'm not looking. You know, I was left home alone, and I cried. I was like, abandoned, right? And I'm like, no, they left you home because they thought you were good enough. I, they trusted you, you know, just shifting that. And I was like, oh, my God. And it, this abandonment thing kind of like dissipated. Yeah, and I was cool with being alone. You know, it was, it was different. I got goosebumps. But um, mm -hmm. things like that. So, you know, you don't realize what things what you're, were you're, um, suppressing when we're eating. Um, you're fasting away. Yes. Yeah. For a reason. Yes. Yeah. We have even your immunity and your second brain. Yeah, we have neural connections in our brain. We have a a, a vagus nerve, yeah, from the, the brain to the, the gut, and um, you know it's just like an extension of your brain, and it needs these these uh, receptors need to be close to the, the the food or the fuel because they're so powerful. Mm -hmm. This this gut feeling is always right, you know, for me at least. And if we're clean, we can get an even stronger gut feeling. This, we call this our spider senses, right? That's what these biophotons do. Once you have more biophotons, it 
it's almost like you have, uh, so without sounding woo-woo or crazy, you have more like superpowers, or like sixth sense, and I feel truly like we have a, a stronger connection to God. I was hearing, I was getting downloads, like I was like in tears some days because of how beautiful, I was like, how, where is this coming from? It was like, as if I was self-teaching myself, um, but what else can you call it other than God, maybe, you know? So... Everyone's going to have a different experience. We all have different damages that we, we go through or we have to heal. So my juice fast is not going to sound like your juice fast or yours or, or, you know, the other person. But it's nice to hear other people's experiences so that you can see or you can learn something from it and maybe it'll you know, help your juice fast. But, um, oh, man, so what was it like? Do you have questions so far? <laughs> How do you go into it? Can you just go into it? It took me, yeah, it took me like four months to acquire the knowledge where I was confident that I could do it safely. And I also had the setup correctly. So I needed the right juicer because I wanted the maximum juice for my money. And I wanted it to be powerful enough to where it doesn't overheat. And um, you want a slow juicer because you don't want the vegetables to be overheated. But those fast juicers, they kind of oxidize and you can't really store it that well. I want to have enough jars. I wanted to make sure I didn't have like big um, responsibilities. And I was always, I was nervous about going to work or doing photo shoots or weddings because I have to drink juice. And believe it or not, my first wedding during that juice fast, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna run to the bathroom a million times. I'm gonna have to drink a million times. And I, it was the complete opposite. I was just like on and I was not tired. I was like, I could just keep going. I didn't even need to drink my juice constantly. And I didn't have to go pee constantly. <laughs> it was the total opposite. And um, there were good days and there were bad days. You know, I had moments where I was really tired and that's when you rest, you know, this is your body, just you gotta assist your body when you listen. So if you're tired, you rest. If you have energy, go. <laughs> but this is, this is the part, the healing crisis, um, where people get turned off. They think by eating that fruit, it caused this problem. When it, in fact, it's just revealing the problem. Um, so are you just juicing fruits and vegetables, or are you doing yep. raisins, nuts, and grains, nope. things in the um, Well, you could juice sprouts, but there's not much juice in there. I'm going for juice, juicy fruits that have a lot of yield and juice. So watermelon, we have a lot of glutathione in watermelon, which activates healing in your liver. It's an amazing juice, just because it's so cheap, it's so abundant, and you can flavor that up with a little ginger, flavor it with lemon or lime, so you can never be bored. Um, at first, I started mixing all kinds of different flavors. I'm like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> but also, it's just, it's easier to digest and your body recognizes it better. Um, green juices are really great to slow your detox because they're a little bit more grounding or like root juices. Um, if you think of it this way, roots are underground. They're grounding in vegetables, like beets, they're grounding. Whereas the coconut is high up in the sky or fruits, it's more electric. So it's gonna have a faster detox. Um, and I love coconut water. What else? <laughs> so is this like, a, do, you, do you have a, like a business? I know you're a no. photographer by trade, but do you just do this just to teach people about this? No, or? this is my first time talking about it in an audience, but I did it It's just your passion time. that you want to share with people. Yeah, because I saw what it did for me, and the, the information I learned was so powerful. I feel like wow. it's one of the most valuable knowledge yeah. on the planet. You know, if we can heal ourselves, yeah. we don't need to go to the doctor. You know, it's yeah. kind of like, how do I say this? It's like the it's, phrase, food is either medicine or poison. Yes. And you were drinking 100% medicine for 49 days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And fasting is natural. You you do it every day when you go to bed. You're fasting. That's why I call it break fast. <laughs> so we're professional fasters. <laughs> um, so And you were eventually, you were doing a retreat, but you had to, yes. just like we had to, yeah. you know, read. Just putting it later. Not yeah. just later, but she was doing a uh, raw food. Raw to what was it? It's called, called Road to Raw. Road to Raw. We were trying to have it in Homestead. We'll, we'll still probably have it there because there's a fruit park there, and that was one of our excursions was to go yeah. in a fruit park and eat all the gorgeous mangoes on the wow. tree. There was like 180 or more different mango trees in a row. Like so, when they're ripe, they fall to the ground. It's like a bunch of Easter eggs. You know, we're gonna be eating them and. 
<laughs> um, so I would be teaching workshops in this retreat where I would teach how to do like use a dehydrator for raw foods or you you know make salad sauces, just how to make it taste good and just fun ideas. And then some of the one of the girls is an iridologist and she does eye iridology readings. So you can look at your eyes like like a reflexology map on your feet. It's the same thing with your eyes and it. Wherever there's a discoloration or some sort of thing that they're looking for, <laughs> that means uh, it correlates to an organ in your body. And it's so creepy on point when I got mine read. I was like, not telling them anything about myself. And then when they read that off, I'm like, oh, that's spot on. And oh that can God. tell like what your body physically is lacking. Where right? your congestion of your lymphatic is. And it all comes down to it. What is the lymphatic system? Well, this is this is the twenty twenty right here. The knowledge we have an immune system, right? But where is it? It's I think it's the lymphatic system because we have two fluids, blood and lymph, in our body. The lymph doesn't have like a heartbeat to pump the fluid, so our movement moves it. Our hydration moves. Um, the lymphatic is there to carry out waste from the cells, metabolic waste to, you know, the cell poops. <laughs> the, the blood is the kitchen, so this is what feeds the cell, and the trash or the dumpster is the lymphatic. So most of us are backed up. We don't have um, functioning kidneys or we have weak adrenals, and most of us do. It's passed on from generation, generation to generation, and um, we got to support these organs. Homemade, and um, I love it personally. I think that's what people can be getting. 
You can have all sauerkraut, but you can. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. It's like a, yeah. it's so good for diverticulitis, which a couple of my friends have. Yeah, so it's a juice fast. Yeah. Actually, yeah. John Rose, my huge inspiration, he has a YouTube channel. He had diverticulitis and he cured it. He cured it. Yeah. He, he healed it by, by juice fasting. When he was eliminating, he, one, one session when he eliminated, he counted 80 diverticuli. Like you could see, like pieces to a puzzle. Could see the form wow. of the when he eliminated that it was those little pockets, um, and he's dedicated. <laughs> he's <laughs> dedicated. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Well, that was all like what about he could say? Is will you retreat just be women or men? I think it should all be oh. inclusive. Yeah, I, I mean that statistic do all women, is but so we, compelling. Like yeah. the men with the right. That's so true. interesting. Yeah, so, knowledge is power, right? Yeah. Like you are yes. and men get more yes. to get more yes. intentional yeah. with men my get breast cancer. Yeah, yeah. Right? It'll take you higher. I yeah. honestly think so. So could um, you guys even the captive and females? Could you send the links to them? I will send you all my links. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. And if you want to see my detox or my juice fast journey, yeah. I have a YouTube channel. I have a playlist. Okay. It's all on there. It's called Solitude Vacations. I'll try to like. Uh, Send you a link or send Kathy a link. Yeah, that would be so great. Yes. That would be yes. here. Yeah, um, and then I also did this Dr. Morse herb. There's detox herbs you can take to help support certain organs if you have weakness or if you want to get that iridology chart right and find out where, what you need to do. This is a great, great path. And I have some friends who do that too, which I'd be happy to cross promote. Uh, and they can do it remotely, so you don't have to go to any clinic. Um, you just need to take a good picture of your eye. Thank you. I just want something for myself. Yeah. It's those why not. What are they called? No see them. No see them. No see them. They were getting me here. That was so cute. What is the term cold press? Like, is that what you did? Cold press? Yeah. What is the op? Like, what is the other option would be to decide cold press? They have those high speed juicers. Okay. Centrifuge. So, what does cold press mean? You just like. Lower auger, Slower. so it's not putting a lot of air into it. It has nothing to do with the temperature. Like I it is. Oh, it is. Yeah, okay. those fast juicers speed up the juice, which after a certain temperature, it, they destroy the it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So with raw foods, you can't keep food past the hottest temperature recorded on Earth on the sun, from the sun. It's 118 degrees, I think, is the, the cutoff point where enzymes start to die. So if you use a food dehydrator, you want to keep it under 118, 115, and then whatever you dehydrate remains raw. Temperature is important. Yeah, I always wonder because you always hear cold press, cold press, like yeah. you know those more flavor. I've done three, but Kathy and I have done. Well, yeah. I think seven days was our most, right? Yes. We Ooh, do wow. a yeah. month, three days, like a couple times a year, three days, we and then did. we've done seven on days juice? on juice. On juice, wow. and that, we yeah. love it. We, and how it much was really? That was a company that we found um, yeah. completely whole. We, I went wow. to the library with you. Remember, I had the crop. I love crop. Yeah. Crop. Yeah. I, love, I love crop. Yeah. But, but she taught me. She's like, go online. Because I had one that was like, remember the one you looked at when we were at the library, and you're like, you have to be really careful. Here I'm thinking like this is like 100% juice, and it's probably all, was. Was it, it, was but it there was really something really added really to it. I had received not the. Um, okay. What's the blue? The Spira? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, so it has that, but it has yeah. something. Thank you. Shake it up, and it's Thank very you. full. And there's Thank a reason you. I did that. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. So what is in this? Rachel? Just watermelon. Yes. Yes. Just, just, just watermelon. Yep, yeah. shake yeah. it up. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah. Separation is normal. Yeah. And I fill it to the top for a reason. If you're juicing and full for the morning, you know, the morning um, for the rest of the day, um, I, I juice a lot, so I don't have to think about it for the rest of the day. And it seems like, oh, I'm going to commit so much time to this juicing. It's really like 45 minutes to an hour I'm juicing, and then the rest of the day I don't have to think about chewing, I don't have to think about cooking, I don't have to think about anything. I have so much more energy, I sleep less, I have more life in my day, and I'm like not tired. Life is my day. Just watermelon. That's it. it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I use and the color is the glorious. Me see what happens. Yeah, yeah. glorious. Those, those so what's juicer? Do you have different kinds? Mm. I have the Tribest Slow Star. It's a slow juicer, so it sounds like it's going slow, but it's really not. It just doesn't aerate or destroy the, the quality of your juice, and it makes a really dry pulp. 
so that you're getting the most out of your juice. That way you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. So how many of these do you bring to Dad? That's the next <laughs> topic I was going to cover because you ladies mentioned you did a juice fast. My curiosity is how much juice did they, uh, was the protocol? They gave us um, six a day. Six, Wait, how many ounces? I think it was six more. Six ounces of, I think we did eight. Was it eight? eight? It's like ten ounces each yeah. one. Yeah. And they were all yeah. different. Yeah. Like every one was different. Like they were like, okay, drink this one in the morning mm -hmm. and then drink this one in the middle and this one and at water. They, yeah. I remember like um, they had one that was like, it was like coconut based. One right. was like pineapple, which they said, in the afternoon when you're in a lull, the pineapple because yes. of this will bring you up. There were like two green, two red for the beets. Then there was like a, a lemonade, like a cayenne pepper lemonade yes. type of thing. Wow. With yeah, lemon. Spicy. And it told you on there what to drink at what time of the day to give you like energy. And yeah, we felt really good. Like I, a couple days, we, it was hard. Oh, like the first, were you hungry? Not after a couple, like maybe yeah. the first seven yeah. days, but I, it got easier the longer you did it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You think I'm starving by then, but I it's know. Not. It's so satisfying. It so Some so days fun. I couldn't finish my juice. Like I said, <laughs> all right, I have two left over. Now what do I do? I don't want to waste it because I couldn't even fit it. And do you feel like you had a high activity level or a lower activity level? Um, I did just time? like one or two days. I think I was detoxing. I felt a little bit weak, but then after that, I was working out. And I said, don't even work out yeah, yeah. hard, and I was. I was running, spinning, everything. I like movement. I like swimming during my juice yeah. fast because it's a low impact. But you don't want to work out too much because it's going to require more caloric right. needs. I know. And with that amount of juices, it sounds like it's not enough. Yeah. I drink anywhere from a gallon to two gallons a day. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because you want to flush. You want to yeah, speed yeah. this up. Yes. You want to be going. Yeah. Yes. You want to flush it out. Food, just plain water. I remember the name. Yeah, I drink water. I drink coconut it's water. Okay. But um, you really don't have to. With juicing, you have, um, you know, the viscousness of the water is different from actual water. It's more of like the fourth phase of water, they say. It's like a, uh, what's it called? I forgot the name. But it's more readily absorbed by your body. The fourth phase of water is similar to our mucous membranes. Um, and then why did I fill it to the top? To prevent oxidation, to, to make sure that you can store these juices long, you know, in the, in the, sh in the shelf or the freezer. <laughs> the less oxygen that's in there, the, the better it'll taste later and it won't get bad as fast. Do you need to make two juices during the day or do you need like one liter of water on right now? Depends on my mood. Okay. Yeah. My, one of my crazy favorite drinks is this green juice by, um, the recipe is by this gentleman named Blue Corona and it's called Lemon Ginger Blast. And we have the lemon, ginger, apple, celery. You can put some greens in there, um, but it, it calls for like spinach, or it calls for like parsley, cilantro, and uh, habanero pepper. Mm -hmm. Like you're seasoning your juice, like you season yeah. your food, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whatever mood you're in. Like if you're in a oh, you cover it here. Yeah. Wow. Well, nothing is spicy. Like the habanero is the ticket. This yeah. drink sounds crazy, but it's actually really tasty. And then when you drink this, you're like, oh, this will blast everything out of me. <laughs> it's so strong. And it really, you really feel it. The habanero helps your circulation. Yeah. And all the greens, you know, they're neutralizing toxins. And Can you that recipe on our link? Yes. Yes, yes. 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 of course. Um, Wait, just give me his name. Please, yeah, yeah. Him. yeah yes. I'll, send, I'll send a link to okay. his video. That's He's great. so inspiring. Okay. This guy, and a, a lot of the people I get my information from, they're not young YouTubers, like, <laughs> but they're, you know, they're people with experience. They've been on the raw food diet for 30 plus years. They're in their 60s and they look like they're me and me, a lot younger. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta look at these people and like, what are they doing? When, when they look that good and feel that good. Well, I thought you were 21. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm like, like, wow. like right? I'm just shocked. Right? I'm like, oh, you're my daughter's 80. <laughs> Lisa's gonna fly off juice right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do another longer fast, maybe 60 to 90 days this year. I'm gonna Can you try. tell yourself how your body feels? Okay, I'm ready to come off the fast. Is that how you come off? Yeah, so this is the tricky part. Your mind will play tricks on yeah. you. Um, and there's a thing with parasites. And remember the gut brain connection? Yeah. We have like neurotransmitters there. When we have parasites, these, um, bad words, <laughs> these <laughs> mother effers, <laughs> they are so. They're so good at being elusive. That's their whole design. They don't want to be found. So we think, oh, that's taboo. That's like third world country stuff. I don't have parasites. Well, I'm here to tell you, they all probably do. <laughs> so 
on some level, some different varying degrees. You know, people that have these big beer bellies, that's watching parasites in there. Wow. Sorry to wow. say. It's yeah. gross. But they control our cravings, our mood, who we sleep with, how we feel, how we act. shitty like moment and they're like feeling like crap they go to the bathroom after that and they release a big parasite oh, after wow. that yeah. oh, and yeah. there's people online that are so bless their heart that they're putting oh, pictures no. up or videos <laughs> of what they're eliminating oh, no. of their parasites this is a mucoid plaque the, yeah the parasites all these things oh, it's called the surface for a reason you know this <laughs> mucoid plaque oh, okay. when it comes out it comes out in a big chunk it looks like
but by the time that we got there, we had gone through the first couple days, which were much very hard. I'll speak for myself. It was really hard the first two days. Like I remember just coughing, like not having coffee, like letting that all exit my body and all. So, but by the time we got, do you remember? It's we coming back to me. So <laughs> <laughs> I got my like, I just remember feeling so good there. We had no temptation. Yes. We were like over that, yeah, and we had we celebrated. It was just a small group, and we were really we we're driving up because it was like two I hours think we away. We had some raw veggies. Yep, just we had the raw water, veggies, yeah. and we felt like so satisfied. Like yeah. we really and. It, I just so remember that because it was like almost anxiety. Yeah. Where, like, oh my God, yeah, where the pressure of being in a social yeah. this vacation, I have to say, okay, so we're all like minded. Now, when I usually go away with women or whoever, couples, whatever, my husband, it's all about eating. Where are we going to eat today? Yep. Where are we going? Where are we going to eat? Going? What are we going to have for this? What are we going to have for that? Yep. And it's like we, yes. like, have gone, I mean, we went like eight hours and we didn't even think about food. We're like, oh, wait yep. a minute, maybe we should have something. Like, yes. And what we have been eating has been raw, like vegan, healthy. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for the first time, instead of gaining five pounds on a trip, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, I'm down. <laughs> and I'm like, it's really what the hell? So excited. <laughs> I'm down. I'm, down. So I'm, so I'm like, she's moving in with me when we get home. <laughs> like, I've never felt healthier. But usually you're like, okay, everybody's drinking, everybody's eating. The whole vacation revolves around... This yes, vacation yeah. revolved around yeah. friendship yeah. and love and, we still had and, so and much active fun. Yeah. and yeah. 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 we had we and yeah. just didn't need the food, no. didn't need to feel like crap. Have you ever we done it? Remember in the airport, she's like, oh, I have all different sizes in my bag. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'll call the size, you know, I six love, and I'll eat 12. And not kidding. Love 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 my love stomach love. goes like out of each day. But this vacation, I feel great. Travel with your yoga instructor. <laughs> <laughs> and she's pocket size. Just put her in I know. Yeah. Yeah. I carry her yeah. in my pocket. <laughs> Like out of a, a box or anything like that. So like I was addicted, 
every day. And nobody else, fresh coconut, to cut them open, drink them straight. So, like, I, and I never, ever burn. And I never put wow. some wow. on it. That's so And crazy. everybody's looking at me going, I mean, you can see I yes. got a tan. Yeah. And, they go, yes. and they're like, how in the hell? I'm like, oh, wow. That's <laughs> wow. But I didn't wow. feel like I needed it either. And I felt amazing like they had green drinks they had they yeah. had every melon they had juice bars like wow, I mean, it so was big. like phenomenal and i felt yeah, so good yeah. and were you able to bury it <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. Fresh yeah. yeah. and then so everybody was going in the yes. pool and there's aqua like, bars and they're all drinking the and i'm like uh-huh. yeah and then more. i go back to the tropical <laughs> bar and get another, because i didn't want to be that person who wasn't oh, having so a drink with them so then i go back and get another juice but I was looking for juice everywhere on the property. Who has juice? You got more juice? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and now I'm back home and I'm like, oh, I don't have the juice. Oh. Yeah. But I, I, was, I didn't know if it was like effective immediately, but I didn't burn. And everybody's like, how are you not burning? And that is interesting. Yeah, and I think I only once or twice put on number eight because. I felt that I needed it, but I really didn't. Yeah, or wear a hat. That's just and a actually, now that I think about it, I think I burned on those days. Wow. That's wow. Rough. Yeah, because you're out longer. Yeah. You're like, I can do I can stay out But everybody longer. was <laughs> lathering up before they went out. And, and while they were out. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So I didn't just, know that fact. handle the heat. Like, I'm the yeah. first one to sweat profusely. Like, you do a wedding in June, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, yeah. my God. But I was, like, lying. Like, no, no I think problem. Nancy is first time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it would help with hot flashes. You might no, even it, have it does, symptoms. and, and yeah. I I will right away admit that yeah. there are times when I do adjust my diet, not only, you know, um, yeah. with foods, but with um, any, like, alcohol, liquids, or anything like that. I do yeah. not feel as much as I'm feeling today, but I had a, a bottle of wine last night. So. <laughs> <laughs> you should have came over, so did we. So, so what, what my body is, is, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah detoxing yes. all that is yes. not helping with the, yeah. so. but, but I do, I mean, um, I also have, um, I have eczema and, um, I've done some research in regards to, um, all the gut things and the parasites and stuff. And, um, I, I haven't heard it called parasites, but we do have bacteria yeah. and all that. Yeah, that was called leaky gut. My, my nutritionist called it leaky gut. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I don't think it's the same. She's no. talking yeah. about, but that's a problem too. Yeah. That can be, yeah. you know, healthy. But, but, you know, I, I'm ready to, uh, readily to admit that, you know, um, your diet in regards to anything, if you do it, um, you know, appropriately for yourself, then, um, you know, I do spurts of it, and I'm like, oh, this works well, and then I just yeah. fall off the oh, wagon, so, yeah. Yeah. so yeah. you know, so yeah. yeah, fall off the wagon, so. I have so. a question for Kat, too, after, I'm sorry. You no, no, yes, I thank you so much, I just want to, what, this acai bowl craze, oh, like, yeah. we have two places in Ridgefield now that yeah. have the acai bowls, and they're yeah. so, so uh, are they healthy? Yes, of course. They are? It's raw food. Yes, okay. fruits are. Like, can it be, like, can they sneak, like, sugar and stuff in there? I mean, Should I ask yeah. them for the ingredients? Yeah, don't, don't because look at that. They're sugar. so amazing. Yeah. We have yeah. two, and then they put, like, I, here's a coconut. Uh-huh. I mix the acai with the coconut and then all the fresh fruit, and then they have a little bit of, like, homemade granola. And I have it for lunch, and it's so But I'm like, I think that after? this can't be healthy because it's too good. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, I was eating um, almond and lawn. It's not um, altered. 
Right. And, uh, and, uh, I think that's how it's here. And also, you should get the seeds. I don't know if there's a... I think chew them up and eat them because there's omega fatty acids in there. There's all kinds of vitamins and minerals. So some juicers can crush up the seeds and fruit. Maybe those benefits. Or if you really want the seed benefits too, you could put watermelon in a blender and then strain it through a nut bag or a tincture or something. You can make your own watermelon juice without a juicer. But I say seeds. Yeah, yeah. I did this have seeds of six of eight. And they grow here in Florida. Wow, I forgot where, but it got far. Do you do all organic? Depends what you're eating. So there's like the dirty dozen. If you're eating the skin of something, try to get that organic. You know, or get a fruit wash, a fruit soak, and you can make your own with vinegar. You can fill up your sink, put some vinegar, baking soda. And let your stuff soak so you can get it free off. I always do my grapes because they have a lot of fruit in this area. They kind of live in it. Not very good, I think. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 you know, but like uh, the lasting effects are amazing. Uh, I still keep up juicing. I juice every day. Uh, most days look like this. So I juice in the morning, and I I'm drinking juice until like a late lunch, whether it be two p between two p.m. to six p.m. I either you have a late lunch, which is a you know good sized meal, or a, an early dinner, and I try not to eat past sunset, so that your your body can really just adjust to the circadian rhythm. And um, if you eat too close to bed, you're going to get a lot of um, work on your organs that are going to have to be working hard. Um, and then when you're sleeping, that's when your body's repairing. So you want to kind of get out of the body's way. If you go to bed hungrier or you're juice fasting, you have the most vivid dreams. It's incredible. I had the best sleep on my juice fast. It was unbelievable. And I, I just sprung out of bed. Like, it was insane. And I needed way less sleep. So, like, there's more light in your day. Yes. yes. So I started getting bored. I'm like, I need something to do. <laughs> so I started, you know, doing projects and all kinds of stuff. So good. Yeah. Awesome. That's a long yeah. topic, right? It, it is. is. So so we can talk we for it. Which is why yeah. I stress to really, really <laughs> learn about this. It took me four months. You know, there's no race. There's no, you know, there's no hurry to get this knowledge in you. But try to, if you, if you're interested, try to make sure you know what you're doing. Either get a coach. Um, I know some great coaches that I've met, and they're amazing. They can help you kind of get you on the right path. You're going to troubleshooting. Um, I highly recommend coaches. Or if you're on social media, start like I did. Start following people that are on the same journey. It's called the hero's journey. Because a hero is a person who can solve a problem that no one else can solve. In, in the case of your health, that's you. You're your own hero. So that's the only, that's the only thing I got to say about that, I guess. Hero. And I like yeah. that it can be like a, a truly like a lifestyle because yeah. if you're juicing in the morning yeah. until two or between two and six like and then you have a you know a, a satisfying dinner Super. um you know that is definitely to me like I could definitely juice that and yeah. those would be my meal replacements or whatever you would consider and then yeah. having a, di a nice dinner on mm -hmm. um, I love about eating before sunset yeah yeah, yeah. You'll hear, you'll hear, you'll feel 
too. Like, there's something about preparing your own food yourself, yes. and you know, sure. preparing. Yeah, and it's like the act of sharing or you know, the preparation of the food. Mm -hmm. It all is like. Yes, the um, discipline about that. Yeah. Yeah, I had control over everything in my life after that trip. The juice has brought me so much stability and discipline and control in every area. I made the most money in my photography business during my juice fast. I don't know why. I'm like a magnet. I don't know. It was crazy. You put energy out there. Yeah.